Did you enjoy having the watch? Yeah, yeah, it was quite fun actually. Mm -hmm. And so you said it made you, um, it made you conscious of your walking. Yeah, you wanted to, to, to get that little bit farther, you know. Yeah. Well, wasn't always possible. But Did yeah. you hit your targets? Well, no, I don't think I did because we didn't get any results given to us, and I wouldn't imagine I did look because I, I do have mobility problems. Sure, sure. Um, has it made you think about moving more since now that uh, having used the watch? Yeah, yeah, mainly because I would like to. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's good. And um, did you use the app at all? No, I didn't. You just used the watch. Wi Fi at home or anything. Right, okay. Um, was it easy to use? Yes, yes. As I was wearing it, I felt more motivated into doing things. Uh, so much the time, the bike, well it's not a bike really, it's something you stand on. You hold the handles and you press down with your feet, um, exercising the top part of your legs really, I would imagine. I managed 20 four times in that week while I, I was wearing it. I used the watch and the tablet. Okay, and how yeah. was using the tablet as well? I, I didn't understand, well I couldn't, I didn't know what to do on it, I didn't use all of the buttons. I did try a few, I did experiment, and it said I wasn't using it enough, the, the tablet. So I, I knew I hadn't been doing, but um, I'm not very technically minded. My wife's influence, we walk quite a lot anyway, and the benefit to us was for us to be able to see how many steps our normal procedure was producing. If we'd had one-to-one -one with the people who were setting them up, we'd have got a lot more benefit. For example, um, mine was set up for 4,000 steps. Uh, my wife's was set up for 8,000 steps. And she did a lot better than I because I couldn't tell when the, when the dial had gone all the way round, when, when it had been clocked. No, it wasn't easy for me to set up. I couldn't read because I can't read the instructions. Uh, I did have help to set it up to my tablet. And once it was set up, I could use it. The benefits I found out of the monitor watch, I did a lot more walking. Uh, I found out that I didn't have a lot of deep sleep. Uh, but I'm getting healthier because I'm also on an healthier diet. Uh, I found out today it could measure my blood pressure and things like that, so I'll, I'll keep my eye on that as well. I think it's a good idea to watch, but I think the price of it's too expensive. Um, I couldn't afford to buy one. The thing I have enjoyed about it most is looking at the sleep function where it's been monitoring how much sleep I've been getting and how much deep and light sleep. I found that actually quite fascinating and it's, it's what I've enjoyed most about wearing the activity tracker. I was asked to use a fitness tracker for two weeks to see if it helped me increase my activity. I thought I was quite active as I go to the gym three times a week and walk as much as possible. I did a baseline day which involved going to the gym. I did 5,195 steps, nowhere near the 10,000 per day, although I can add other exercise such as rowing and cycling to the tracker which gives extra calorie usage. So did I find the activity tracker changed the way I exercised? The days I go to the gym give me 100 to 150 minutes exercise a week, 
but the fitness tracker made me realise how little I do on other days. I looked at ways of increasing my steps on non-gym days and managed to do more than 15,000 steps on one day. Fitness trackers can definitely encourage us to be more active as seeing your daily steps makes you aware of how much or how little you are doing. They can be used by themselves for those who are not technically minded or do not have smartphones or tablets. But for optimum benefit, the technology of linking to an app needs to be used.